Hey, what's going on, guys? It's JP here with another political video. And this one, it's another shooting. I know, I know YouTube doesn't like that word. I'm sorry. But I, just, I have to make a video on this. I wasn't going to. It's just been blowing up. And I, I just have to. It's. I'm just going to say, is it justified, yes or no? Yes. That's what I'm going to say in the beginning. And I'm going to explain why it is. Um, this video should be a little bit more serious than my other video. I'm not going to be making as many jokes. Maybe not any jokes. I don't know. Um, I've had a. 12 or so hour day of college, so I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to try to get this video out for you guys. So, K Kenosha shooting, one officer fired all seven shots into Jacob Blake's back. I'm not kidding with the second part of it, it's some other story. So, basically, what happened was Jacob Blake was walking up to his. So, he's there, it was a domestic dispute call. Please come over. Blake gets in it. We haven't seen everything, but Blake gets in some altercation with them where they have to, one, they try to wrestle him to the ground, and two, that, that's why I thought, but this is confirmed that they shot a taser at him to try to slow him down. They don't just shoot tasers at someone if they're doing nothing. There was definitely something going on. But as you can see right here, there's tased. Um, he also had a knife. So this article that says he has a knife, it took, uh, my mom was actually looking at something and she called me down to t tell her about it because I, I'm more versed on it. Than her. And she's like, yeah, it took me like five articles before she found it saying he had a knife because most of them didn't say that. I saw it floating out somewhere that he had a gun, which was just not true. He had a knife, not a gun. Um, it's just, it's 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 very very so justified because it's like he was. I'll show you guys a video. Another, he was like more. He was not obeying officers, which is not reason he gets shot, obviously. But he was going straight for that car with a mission on his mind. And I I, I feel like I've been trying to get suicide by cop, or maybe he just wants to be quote unquote here in the black community. I don't know. On to the next circle. We're, this we're gonna look at a little video about his dad talking. I mean, this is just disgusting. I'm sorry your son out this having your son, but like you cannot be trying to flip this. Everyone for coming out. I'm saying thank you, everyone. My son with this senseless attempted murder that was committed on him. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, your son got what was coming out. I'm sorry. It sucks, but like why is it civil rights probe? He didn't do it because he's black. That's the thing I hate. They keep doing this thing, I was like, oh, this black guy was shot by a white cop. Maybe it's because he's black. No, it's because of what he, his dumbass was doing. He totally, it was totally justified what he did. Because he was, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit flustered by this. I'm, I'm not always cool and calm right now because I've, I've had a long day. Um, and people, his family's like, he didn't have a weapon in his view. He was going to go see his kids. The most important thing in his life to, to him and his life was his family and children. Okay, let me listen to you. This man did not care about his kids. He doesn't care about his kids. He didn't die. Might be paralyzed, which okay, it's better than dying. It's what you get coming to you. He did not care about his kids at that moment. All he cared about was himself. Okay, let me break this down for you. Say he was totally innocent and nothing wrong. He, he wasn't going for a knife, which he was. Say he was just walking to his car. You don't do that. But say, say the police were racist. These police officers hate black people. They're going out after just black people. Okay, as a black man. He he would know this obviously. He's like, oh, black, black, please hate black people. So why would you, caring about your kids, go against officers that are telling you not to go into your car and reach inside, going into your car, reaching across the the seat with your kids in the back seat, where they could get shot in crossfire if you do get shot? That you do, he is not thinking that. If he really cared about his kids, he would not have done that. He would have just listened to the police. It's just, it's just, so Officer Chesky fired the weapon to Mr. Blake's back. The state agency said to news release, no other officer fired the weapon. So one officer fired seven shots. And they're saying we haven't heard anything to the police. The store count, they're saying, don't rush to judgment. Store count just told that is that this officer seems to have rushed to judgment. The manner in which he handled the particular encounter. No, it was not a judgment. It was very, very, very much so justified. It's like, you can't get more justified than this unless the guy actually like tried stabbing someone. Like, oh my god. Is he, uh, this is the one they have to give the Buchanan Prophet. They're giving, calling them for peaceful protest, saying, do not have any instruction. The city of Kenosha, the last United States, building is the first set of place. It's good, though. I'm, I'm pr thank you. Thank you, Blake's family. Thank you, Mr. Blake. But sorry, you, you had this coming to you. I'm not even trying to be mean about it. It's like, you, that was just something that should, that you, it was nothing, you, you could have done so much better. You didn't have to do this. As you guys talk, I'm very flustered by this one. It just it pisses me off so much. I actually don't need this article. I don't think. I just had this one open. 
this is the one we're going to be watching the video. Now, um, and we're going to show a little bit of it, but YouTube might not like it. So first, I'm just going to go over here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The first video, I'll, again, I'll be linking all of these in the description for you guys. Operations followed in Kenosha, Wisconsin, after police shot Jacob Blake as someone filmed Sunday afternoon. Oh, wait, wait, right here. So we see he's walking here, and his entire family was actually yelling at him not to. They were yelling at the police not to, they were yelling at him not to. So watch what he does. So look at his body language. Shouting as a police officer. Does he look like a man that can give any shit? No, he doesn't give a ass. Sunday afternoon. Look at him. He doesn't care. Those things stop. Shouting as a police officer points a gun at Blake. Who He's not caring. He doesn't care. The officers trying to. People like, why didn't the officers tackle him? You don't know if he has a weapon on him. He could have very well have a knife on him, stab the officer, take the gun, and shoot someone. You don't know in this situation. It's like, it's so stupid to just be like, oh, why didn't they just tackle him to the ground and shoot him? Walking away, that officer, officer tries to grab him, but you see, how he made a beeline for Jackson to see. His kids on the back. He could be like, hey, let me get my kids out. Hey, I have a wallet in there. Hey, the, the car's not important. Whatever it was, if there was an actual reason. Which it wasn't because it was a knife on the floorboard of the passenger seat. But say he's like, okay, officer, I'm sorry that this is happening. I will go right with you, but can you please escort me to my vehicle so I can either A, get my kids out because I want them to be able to be like out of the car because there's no one in there. I want them to actually still driving. B, hey, officer, I left my phone in there. Can I go get it? Or C, hey, officer, I, I really am sorry, but can I go to my car or something like that along those lines? What you're doing in this situation, no, he's just, let's watch that one time. He does not give a shit, he does not give any shit. Right here. The shots get fired. I, I, I'm just going to say, I'm not sure why he fired the 20. Maybe there was a reason. Maybe the guy kept kept on reaching. We don't know. There actually was not body cams of this incident, which I, I really wish there was. It would help show more justice in this. But... I just don't get it. People are rioting about this guy. You really think this guy is a good person to riot for? Really? The guy that uh, literally said, eh, no, I'm not going to listen to the guys that have guns. The, the people that enforce the law and keep our country safe. I'm just going to walk into my car, reach for a knife, and try to gut, either gut him or just reach in just so I can get shot. It's like, if this had been a white guy, if this had been a white person or an Asian person or a Mexican or Hawaiian, anyone, the same outcome would have happened if he, if they had acted this way and got into the vehicle. It's not matter if the 99 year old grandma was back in the, in the back seat, not the kids. Anybody, there could be Mother Teresa in the, in the damn back of the seat, and they still would have had a fire. It doesn't matter what he did, what led to his shooting. Which I we just have to say, this is obviously justified. If you don't think it is, let me know why in the comments. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be ending off here. I'm exhausted after this day um but yeah i i'm gonna be doing a little bit not that much editing on this i'm sorry again for that no scripted i know i know um but again if you did like this video please leave a like oh god that's so i'm gonna be do that if you did like this video please leave a like below it really helps the channel grow hit subscribe i'm trying to grow my channel up to 100 subscribers either before the november elections or the new year i really want to get 100 subscribers this year it would mean a lot to me i know it's a cringy thing that youtubers say but i i really do want to get there it's this is just a side thing while I'm doing my college, but I have fun in doing this. Of course, I didn't, but I really do enjoy making YouTube videos. Um, please, again, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the video. Uh, comment down below. Again, yeah, everyone just stay safe. It's COVID season. Um, Trump 2020, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace, peace.